and gentlemen, I'm Thomas Finn Jameson on my channel, Find Pure Cinema. Reviews, music, comedy and more. Today I'm doing a Vault album review, so reviewing an album prior to this year. Uh, so it's for Blur 13. I think they're a cool band, Blur. I think um, Alban is an excellent musician. Uh, I wanted to review an Alban project as I've been listening to a reasonable amount of his music recently. So several projects have used tracks featuring Alban. I'll get to that later. D'accord. Without further ado, let's get to the review. Some of the tracks. Some of them. So tender for this one, I'd say, oh my word. It's used in Southland Tales, this track, which is an all-time great film, directed by Richard Kelly. Uh, it has a kicking beat, which means, IT KICKS LIKE A SLEEP TWITCH! Editor's reference. With this track, it's got it all. Possibly Blur's best track, and the best track on this album, in my opinion. Bugman, it's certainly out there. Um, it's got noise rock elements, possibly a tad overproduced, uh, but still catchy nonetheless. The song is about drugs. The bug man in this track is Alban's drug dealer. Um, so, you know, the lyrics are almost haunting, I'd say. Coffee and TV, one of the best tracks on here. Used in Cruel Intentions, an amazing film. If you know, you know. This track is so brilliant, it gives me a sense of joy. It's a track with 90s zest. And at the same time, grungy undertones. Swamp Song next. It's certainly... Dog. And it's about Alban's use of heroin. Uh, it has the standard blur sound. Next, B L U R E M I. On this track, I'd say to the lads in blur, quality job. Uh, it's a solid jam with that textbook 90s rock grunge kind of sound. Mellow song. So there's an excellent synthesis of experimental sounding grunge with standout drums by Dave Roundtree. Trim Trab, one of the best tracks on here. For this one I'd say, what a corker! I first heard this track years ago, about 2017, 2016-ish. Um, and upon getting more into, say, Blur, um, this is a key track pour moi. Um, Graham Coxon shreds the guitar here like an absolute beast. And Alban's vocals are inspired. Now I get to the closing track. Semi-sonic reference. Optagon. It's either I or one. Um, this track is a splendid outro, which was made using an organ. It's a sublime end to the LP. Now I get to music and lyrics. The production by William Orbit is excellent. He's a solid producer. Lyrically and sonically, there's brilliant content, man. Content. And I say the music and lyrics are on a par here. Consistency. On this project, there's no bad track. Therefore, the consistency on here, c'est parfait. Style. So there's art rock, experimental rock, and noise rock on here. The album at times dwells in an emotional abyss, but also has an irreverent sensibility, which saves it from being a dirge fest. There's also definitely ambient textures via William Orbit's production, and from the band in general. Impact. So Q Magazine gave it 4 out of 5, Rolling Stone gave it 3.5 out of 5, and Metacritic gave it 79 out of 100. Those cheeky scamps! Potential. So, this is an album I will gladly revisit. Whilst being an emotive album, 
it's also a very enjoyable listen. Um, this may be, I think, one of Alban's best projects. We shall see. So my verdict on this album, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. In the description below you'll see links. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram for posts, project updates and song recommendations. Uh, you can follow me on SoundCloud for my music, Spotify for my playlists, and Letterboxd for my film reviews and lists. With that, I say tie, meaning, take it easy.